Hi everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before. This is a judgment-free space where you will see me overspend, spend on things you disagree with, and hopefully see me reach some financial goals. I'm giving myself one year to see if I can create lasting change and I'd love for you to share my journey. So let's begin. <music> Today we're going to be doing an unstuffing video, so for uh, week number three of June, and I've decided because the unstuffing videos are a little bit shorter, we're going to try something different. We're going to A, take a look at my son's binder. He's six years old, and we'll take a look and see how I've divided his envelopes up and um, kind of what his priorities are right now, even at six years old. And then the other thing I want to start doing is um, a lot of people have been asking me where I've gotten some of my products or some of my binders, and so... Pretty much anything on here is either through Amazon or my own webs, um, website, or uh, most of my stuff will be directly from the Louis Vuitton website. So these two binders here were from um, Louis Vuitton, and as well as this um, key pouch. So one of the things that I'm going to start doing is featuring one item that I absolutely love on my unstuffing videos that either pertains to something with budgeting or spending money or um, you know something that I use a lot in my day-to-day -day life. So today's option is going to be this uh, key pouch. So this is also from Louis Vuitton. It comes in a lot of different um, styles or uh, colors, I guess you'd say. So this one is their leather. Um, it's wonderful because I can connect my key to it. You could also put your key within the pouch. I use this one for holding cards. I also use it for holding my Aldi quarter. Um, if you know, you know. And I will also put in, you know, if somebody hands me a business card or a receipt, things like that. So I love this because it can hold a lot. It's really convenient for just, um, I keep my driver's license in here. So it's really convenient to just grab this sometimes. If I don't need anything else, I'm just going to run to pick up my son or I just need to drop something off somewhere. And I will literally take this out of my purse. It's got my key. It's got my um, driver's license. It's got um, a couple credit cards in case I need something. I could also keep cash in here and I just go and I just slip this in my pocket when I don't feel like bringing an entire purse. Um, so this is really wonderful. Um, I do have it in several different um, combinations. So this is one of those things back when I was not budgeting or spending very smartly. Um, I was like, oh, I need to collect these. So I have one in the monogram, Damier Azur and Damier Graffite. Um, and so I really like these. I kind of switch them out with, depending on what kind of color purse I have for the day. And I've also debated on giving this to my husband so that he can use his key on it and just slip it in the bag that he usually carries. I also wanna just let people know that I do carry dupes on my website. Um, if this is something that you think you might like to add to your collection, um, they're really similar, they're not exact. Um, I'm not a huge fan of exact dupes because I do feel like it kind of um, isn't fair to the original um, intellectual property holder. But again, this is a no judgment um, station. So if that's what you guys do, that's that's totally cool. That's up to you. But for me, um, you know, for the things that I carry, I do carry things that are slightly different. So as you can see, these are a little bit bigger in size. So here's the Louis Vuitton. It has the Louis Vuitton stamp and it's the Damier Azur. So it's the blue, it doesn't look blue here, but it's an actual like a navy blue and the cream color. And then this is the similar design where you can automatically see that it's definitely different. It's got the triangles instead of just the squares. And there's like a slight yellow thread in here um, that is not present in the, the Louis Vuitton. Um, it also has, uh, as you can see, it's a little bit shorter and a little bit taller. So it's not quite as wide, but it is a little bit taller. Um, it has very similar, the zipper pull is different, but as you can see, it is very similar. Oh, I do have change in here and some sugar or equal packets, but um, which I also carry in there. Uh, it's very similar inside and it does also have a very similar, it's a little bit thinner, but a similar keychain that you could put your key fob on or a house key or anything like that. So you can keep it inside um, or you can keep it out. And another thing that I like to do with these, if I don't have my key fob on it, um, which isn't 
usually the case. Almost always I have my key fob on it. But a lot of people will put this on um, maybe the handle of their purse and have it dangling on the outside, um, just as almost more like a decoration or if they wanna get to it really handily. Um, so it's really cute. So I like, I, I just love these little things. I think they're very versatile. I think they're very um, convenient to grab out of your handbag. Um, but they are quite pricey because of the Louis Vuitton name on them. So like I said, I do carry these dupes. Um, they're not exact, but I think in terms of function, they're very close and I do think they're really cute. Um, so this one would kind of match the Damier Graffite. As you can see, it's still a little bit different. This one's more blue. And then I don't have the Damier um, Eben, which is the squares, but I do have the Damier Eben in a binder that I will be setting up for my business. But this is the Damier Eben, the, the chocolate squares, basically. So as you can see, they're all different slightly, but they still look very similar. And again, still very, very useful. So that is my favorite item of the day, which is this, as well as... Um, plug for if you would like to find those items I do carry them on my website so all right let's get started with the change I don't think I have much change this week um let me pull this out nope I just have oh wait it's in my other change purse I thought I tra transferred all the coins in here but I guess I did not so this one is what I usually keep all my change in and we will put that into our coin jar all right so put that off to the side okay so today getting to our cash stuffing we are going or unstuffing I'm sorry we are going to be unstuffing seven hundred and seventy six dollars so Put my son's binder to the side first we'll get with started with the unstuffing so first off is my wallet and just running through some of these so gratitude doesn't have anything in it i did use that um, when we went out to eat kindness um, i did use i stopped to get some starbucks and so i did um, buy a drink behind me um, miscellaneous i also used when we were um at Target to get the kids some stuff and I just need a little bit of buffer so I use the miscellaneous and then kids same thing when we were at Target looks like there's two dollars left so I am gonna sweep this and put it to my one dollar challenge and same thing for eating out we went and got some smoothies and so there's one dollar left here from that So I'll add those to my $1 challenge pouch. And then the next thing I'm gonna do before we get started is I'm gonna create some change and I like to do that out of the $1 challenges. So I do have some larger bills in the back, but I'm gonna try doing, we'll see if we have 21s. 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right. Okay, so let's get started with our sinking funds. So first up is going to be gas. And for gas, um, I do use the Upside app. Sometimes I find that Costco, if I'm passing by, is cheaper, but most times, if I'm not um, by Costco, the Upside app is amazing because it tells you where, not only what all the prices are for gas, but it also gives you a certain amount of cash back per gallon so it can go anywhere from three cents to ten cents um, and so that is linked in my bio and uh, if you haven't signed up for it yet there's a referral there I'm not sure they just had an $11 referral so I'm not sure if they still have that one going on or if they've started a new one but again um, regardless it's a great app to to have as part of your tools kit to basically just get free money back so for gas, we're going to be taking out 148. So 150 and two dollars back. So then we have 20, 21, two, three, four, and five left over. Groceries is going to be taking a hundred dollars. So 
One, two, and three is left over. We have been spending a lot on groceries right now. We have a guest um, from Paris staying with us. He is a trumpet player with the Paris Opera House and he is a colleague of my husband's. And so they're running a music camp right now and he is helping and somehow agreed to come over from Paris to help my husband run this camp. And so we've been um, buying more groceries just to make dinners for this guest and we did buy some um, I would say better bottles of wine because this guy is a wine enthusiast and I just did not want to to show up with my you know ten dollar um, wine or what what do they say two buck chuck from Trader Joe's so we have been spending a little bit more just based on having this guest here and not wanting to um, sort of embarrass ourselves with some of the things that we know he likes anyway um, Roche, uh, I'm sorry, Milk Delivery is going to have $24 taken out. So 20, 30, so I'll need six back. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And it's so funny because this guy is such an amazing trumpet player. I mean, he's one of the best in the world. He's definitely like one of the, the very best in France, but he is the nicest, most humble person. It's amazing. I mean, it just is a reminder of, you know, just 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 be a decent person it doesn't matter what you do or how much money you make or what your name is or any of that kind of stuff it's just like this guy is amazing and he is still so incredibly kind and generous so um it's just a good reminder for myself eating out is going to be fifty dollars um so that leaves us with five I think eating out, we did Domino's pizza. So on Fridays, my son has a later um, Taekwondo class. And so like the last thing I want to do at 630 is have dinner prepared. And so um, a lot of times the Domino's is like right there in the same little strip mall. So we'll just order Domino's and Fridays will be our pizza night. And then we also had ice cream. So we didn't spend all that just on pizza. Um, household is going to take out $15. And let's see if I have a five, I do, wonderful. So $15, and this was spent on, oh yeah, this was spent on Shout Stain Remover, like the Shout Squirt Bottle and Oxy Squirt Bottle, because I have three children who love to play in the water and mud, and, the clo and they also are like feral children when it comes to eating. So basically every time we do laundry, we have to check every piece of clothing to make sure that there are stains that we're treating. So we go through a lot of oxy and shout stain remover. Um, and so I categorize that under household because it was part of laundry. Uh, the next item that we will unstuff is subscriptions and that's gonna take out $12. And that is for a like, reading program or um, like audiobooks type thing. My husband uses it for music. He also uses, like I use it for audiobooks and reading. So we use it kind of for everything. Um, I'll have to ask him. I think he probably could use that as part of his um, business uh, for tax purposes. And if so, then we'll probably start allocating it out of his actual business account. Gifts is going to take out $125. So we had a couple graduations. So I need 15 back. We had a couple graduations this year. Um, and then we also have a birthday party for in my son's class coming up this week. So we spent um, quite a bit of money on graduation gifts and that birthday party. So that is it out of sinking funds. Out of investing binder, it's only gonna be the kids that we're taking money out of. So that is going to be $36 um, in addition to what I spent. So I spent um, roughly 20 in the wallet. And so it'll be 30, or I'm sorry, 10 in the wallet and then it'll be 36 coming out of here. So we'll do the 40 and then take $4 back. Three, four, so that'll leave us with 59. 50, 55, 6, 7, 8, 9. And so this was for items. Um, so I think I mentioned in one of my previous videos that my middle child is basically completely potty trained. We still put pull-ups on at night, but um, even then he still wakes up dry in the morning, which is amazing. And so 
one of the things we told him is that we would go and pick out special underwear that he wants. Um, so he picked out some Paw Patrol underwear. So that's where some of this money came from. And then we also um, needed some extra like baby lotion for the, my youngest son. So that's where all this money went. Okay, then for my husband, he did spend some money this week. Um, so we'll open up his binder. And let's see. ideally, I would kind of, because I like to match things, I kind of want to get him the Damier Graffite binder. Because um, I had my other binders from Louis Vuitton, but I didn't have the Damier Graffite, which is technically marketed in the men's line, but I know plenty of women who also have it. Um, because it's just a really nice uh, color palette. Um, but I have to figure out where I'm going to budget that from because I'll probably see if I can get it pre-loved, um, but it's not very common. It doesn't come up very often, so I'll, have to, I'll just have to wait and see. Um, so his personal is going to be $49. 45 And... Ooh, that's a pretty yucky five. Take a dollar back. So he is left with five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I'm not kidding, guys. All 49 of that went to snacks. So we were traveling <laughs> from the bed and breakfast last weekend. And he was driving with um, one of our sons. And I was driving with the other two sons because we were coming back at different times. And, like, that money is basically from gas station, like, drinks and candy and things like that. So uh, he, he spends his money on food. Um, grooming, he is going to have 48, he spent $48, so 45. And I'll do the ones, one, two, three, which leaves him with five, 10, 11, 12, and $13 left for grooming. So he just put in a big order with Dollar Shave Club. So I know he really likes those razors and he likes the shave butter um, as opposed to shaving cream and I think maybe an aftershave or something. So he basically stocked up on, on his shaving products this, this past week. Um, sartorial isn't getting anything. Business is um, $80 is coming out. So basically everything, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80. And this is, I mentioned that we have that guest in town that's helping him with the camp. Um, and when I say camp, it's not like summer camp. It's, it's basically going downtown in the city and going to the music school and kids come and have basically master classes or lessons. And so he's buying lunch for everybody, um, all the instructors um, that are coming to help with the camp. So that's where that money went. Um, business number two is going to have $34 taken out. So let's see, 20 35, take back one. So he has 20, 40, 50, 51, 52, 53. And so that's basically, he just needed some additional equipment for this business. And business three is not taking anything out. So that is it for his binder. Next up is mine. And I really don't have a whole lot in here. So, oh, somebody also asked me about these little paper clips that I have. So this one um, is just basically a rose gold paper clip that I really liked. And I saw this on somebody else's video, I think for planners, when I was kind of doing a lot of research on these binders, maybe two or three years ago. And so this is a um, authentic ribbon. So when you buy something from Louis Vuitton, they do a really nice job packaging up with their boxes and then they use a ton of this ribbon. It was kind of one of those things where it's like, I have no use for this ribbon, but I just always kept it because the packaging was always so nice. And so then I was like, oh, this would be great. Like I will make um, my own little bookmarks or, you know, paper clips. And then I thought, you know, when I started having ideas for this channel and whether I wanted to try to sell anything with it as well, um, I thought this would be a really fun thing to include um, with orders. So I include these um, for anybody that orders like a binder or a savings challenge box, things like that, um, as just, you know, just as a thank you because I personally love Louis Vuitton. Um, I know there's a lot of people that also love Louis Vuitton in the cash stuffing community. I know there's a lot of people that couldn't care less about Louis Vuitton or think it's really kind of frivolous and silly. Um, and that's cool. That's great. But um, this is kind of one thing that I just 
I just have always loved Louis Vuitton, so it's just something that I have a bunch of these paper clips and ribbons, so I just make them and throw them in the uh, order. Personal is going to take out $5, and that is because I did end up buying um, two summer dresses, and it went over my $50, and so it was ended up being $55, and so I didn't ha I only had 50 in my fashion, so I took five out of my personal. Which brings us to fashion, which I'm gonna take this full 50 because those two summer dresses. Um, and that is it for the cash unstuffing. So we should have $776 um, plus the $20 that we were using from the $1 challenge to make change. So. I guess let's count that really quickly. So 100, 200, 300, 350, 4, 450, 470, 490, 510, 30, 50, 70, 90, 610, 30, 50, 70, 90, 700, 710. Okay, sorry, I lost track. 1, 2, 3, 354, 450, 470, 490, 510, 30, 50, 70, 90, 610, 30, 50, 70, 90, 710, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, and then 75, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96. Perfect. So 796 minus 20 equals 776. So... We have the right amount, so let me just count this again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then I will take, I don't want those two fives. I will take this ten, and I will put this twenty back into the one dollar challenge. And then this 776 will go back to the bank so that I can pay off my credit card. And then the last thing I wanted to do today, if you are still here, is checking out my son's binder. So he used to have a clear binder. I think it was rose gold with glitter and it was just an extra binder that I had out. And then um, when I started getting inventory for children's binders, um, I found this really nice blue color. And so um, we switched out his envelopes to this blue one. So the first envelope is his goal. And so um, what I did before is I kind of felt like with him it was easier because I also sometimes use quarters. I give him $6 a week, which is his age, um, is six years old. And then I split it up into four. So really I'm giving him $1.50. So every week he's getting 50 cents um, for each category. And then he'll com consolidate that and you know give me four quarters and I'll give him a dollar. So I just wanted to incorporate some of the um, consolidation method with him as well and getting used to coins as well as bills. So because of that, um, I'm using these zippered envelopes instead of just the open-ended ones, just so that if he does have change, it doesn't fall out. Um, so this is his goal. And then I also did this, um, this was a while ago. I put these, I had this paper um, from like scrapbooking and it was like for back to school and stuff. So it was these really cute cartoon things. So I put them on the backside just to be extra fun for him. So his goal is um, anything that he is wanting to save up for to spend his own money. So right now, um, it could be something like a, a big Lego set or um, right now he's really into Halloween and his birthday is right around Halloween. It's in the beginning of October. So what he's saving up for right now is he wants to get one of those big animatronic type statues that you put in your front yard that you know is moves or makes noises or whatever and it's kind of like maybe adult size and so one of our rules he's only six years old I have no idea where his obsession with Halloween comes from because neither myself or my husband are big fans of Halloween we're just kind of like yeah whatever um but he loves it and so he um he really wants to get something to put in the yard and you know we have a couple rules like it can't be gory it can't be you know it can't be too scary it has to be something that's kind of more fun halloween so um this is what he's saving up for right now and let me see 
me see how much he has in here. So he has 50. And of course, because he puts it in, my OCD goes crazy when the bills are like not in order, but I'm trying to just let him do his process. So it's 50, 70, 80. So he's $80 right now. And we kind of talked about basically saving up to $100. And then for his birthday, if he spent $100 towards his big lawn thing, um, that we would pay whatever the balance was um, as part of his birthday gift. His fun um, is basically um, any money like that is in his fun is for something that he can spend without any restrictions. So if he wants to buy candy, if he wants to buy a little matchbox car, if he wants to save up and buy, um, I, I don't even know, like back in the day for me, it would have been something in a vending machine or, you know, like a, a, one of those really cheap plastic toys that you know is going to break in two seconds. Um, but it's, to me, it was like, I wanted him to have um, some money that he could do whatever he wanted with. Like there was not going to be any influence because at some point when you get to be an adult and you get your first paycheck and you have the freedom to go spend your money, um, you know, I think it's very, there has to be a balance. Like if you only are very responsible with your money at some point you're going to go crazy and, and just splurge on something insane right so i wanted him to get used to the fact of like there's some things that he wants that he has to save up for there's some things that he wants that i'm not going to say you can't get that or that's not a you know that's not a good investment or that's going to break in two seconds like that's something i want him to learn on his own um and then i have other categories like give so give is um if he wants to you know, do something and be kind and buy something for either his brothers or his friends or a stranger. Um, if he wants to, um, like give money to say, um, you know, we, we live near uh, a large city. So a lot of times there are street performers. And so he likes to stop and listen to the people who play music. So if he wanted to throw a little bit of money in there, um, I would be okay with that. Um, so this is just basic or Mother's Day, Father's Day for his grandparents. This is something that um, we want him to, to use actively to give to somebody else. And then save is the last category. And this is for, you know, investment or college, or I'm not quite sure if I'm going to direct him to do it specifically for, specifically for college or specifically for investing. Um, so we're just kind of accumulating it right now. We do have a 529 plan for him separately. So I kind of think I might have him just do it to buy like some stock and just have fun knowing, you know, getting introduced to the idea of investing. Um, so yeah, so these are the four categories that um, we use for my son. I do sell these on the website as well to get started. And I do use the four category. I know a lot of people do, what is it? I think, spend, save, and um, I forget what the, it's like three S's. I forget what it is. But a lot of people only do three categories. But for us, we thought four would be good because, like I said, I wanted to have two categories where he had a goal to reach for something he wanted, but he also had the ability to um, spend without any kind of adult supervision so that he knows, you know, if it's gone, it's gone. Or, you know, if you buy something and it breaks and maybe it wasn't a good idea to buy that, I just want him to kind of learn that value as well. So, all right. So this video got pretty long with the children's binder and with my favorite, um, key pouch of the day, which is this one, or this is, this happens to be the one color I just grabbed right now. But um, so thank you for staying here. Um, let me know in the comments if you have a binder for your children, um, if you have these kind of key pouches, um, and you know, or if you have something similar that you really love. Um, and let me know. Um, also, if this was like, yeah, I don't really care, or yes, I also love LV. You know, I think I am gonna for, at least for a while feature a favorite item. Um, doesn't it won't always be the LV or you know something high end necessarily, but. Um, I just thought it would be more fun and interesting on some of these videos that are a little bit shorter. Um, all right. Thank you, everyone. Bye.